Professor, uh, good afternoon. You good afternoon from her. Uh, he said good afternoon, good evening, and good morning. <laughs> anyway, that's Lass's uh, good morning to everybody. And this is my uh, good afternoon. I mean, this is my good afternoon too. It's quarter past two. This is Brat Tour. And I'm parked down in Brat Tour car park, just over there somewhere or other. My plan today is very simple, very short and very sweet, to be honest. Um, Brat Tour, Great Links Tour, down the other side, and then head over towards uh, Sowerton Tour, and uh, that's my plan for camping. Obviously, I'll have to pick up some water before I get to Sowerton Tour. So it'll be sort of coming off Great Links Tour and then down the other side, down towards the little stream, pick up some water and then back up to Sowerton and that's where I'll set up camp tonight. I've been uh, sort of a bit tied up recently, so that's why I haven't been getting out here or anywhere camping, you know, too much recently. But I'm still around, I'm still camping and haven't forgotten videos and you and everything and uh, more videos will follow so bear with me. So you can tell I haven't done that much walking for a while. I've only come up one little hill and I'm exhausted. So anyway the plan is as I say is to walk in that direction over there. Well I thought I'd link Brat Tour and Great Lynx Tour with Arms Tour and I think they're firing on the uh, one of the ranges over there I can hear uh, Lassie is searching for unexploded munitions and various uh, items of treasure Keep digging, you'll get to Australia eventually. It'll be cheaper than British Airways and Qantas and everything else. Long walk though. Think MLD might make a bag to go all the way to Australia, Lassie? How many minutes and seconds was that? <laughs> so, I think last time that I was walking here, I was walking along that track over there and over uh, Great Nodden or Old Noddy and that's uh, right on the horizon that is uh, Sowerton Tor and that's our uh, destination. My phone's ringing. I've had a lot of phone calls recently of um, people trying to sell something even though I'm on the um, phone preference service thing Well, that's a uh, Great Links tour just up there. I was even kind enough to give uh, Lassie some water up there. All oh, this water down here, she could have waited for five minutes. <laughs> she could probably play in that all day long. She's disappeared. Could be interesting if she actually did come out the other end. I don't think she would, to be honest. No. <laughs> Just had fun having to keep Lassie out of my uh, drinking water. But... Uh, I've got my water now, so she can now play to her heart's content and pollute the water for someone else. <laughs> a scallywag. I checked the weather for today. When I looked a few days ago, it was cloudy or sunny intervals and cloudy. Um, 
And then when I looked last night, uh, it was sunny. And they've obviously got that right. Beautiful day out here. It was just uh, pitching camp at the bottom of, uh, as I call it, Sowerton Tor. Although I'm sure that's probably incorrect. Although as I keep saying, just where this isn't uh, Wales or Scotland, I would slaughter their uh, words. And this uh, gentleman walked up to me and I thought, hey, hey, he's going to say, is that Tony? And I thought I was going to be famous because uh, I thought someone else would recognise me. Anyway, he didn't. <laughs> so, so there is someone out here who doesn't know who I am. <laughs> Shameful. Anyway, what we have here is the Mountain Laurel Designs Duo Mid. And in case some of you were thinking, the newer viewers, you might be thinking he's gone and got himself another tent. Actually, this is, this is actually quite an old tent. I've had this, this was one of my early shelters. And I think my love of the trail star is uh, so, so deep. No pun, in <laughs> no pun intended. Um, yeah, I like the Trail Star so much that uh, I tend to use that mostly. And of course, the Supermid is so huge, I like that so much. But on this occasion, I thought I'd. Uh, hang on, what have we got here? No guesses for what Lassie is doing. I've got a feeder in a minute. That's probably what it is. She's probably hungry, so she wants to eat the, the mud. Um, so yeah, so I thought on this occasion, as I haven't used this shelter for a while, it was time to break out the duo med. So we will see how we get on this time. I'll show you inside. I haven't set everything up yet, but this is the MLD Solo Inner. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, this is the MLD Inner. Uh, I had the door put on my on my side because you're most in fact if you look at any and all probably all duo mids and super mids door is on the other side uh, I had mine because I'm cack handed I had mine put on the other side so this is the uh, solo inner and I, I've heard and I still hear people saying that it's cramped and small and but I've never really noticed that maybe it's because the netting is there of course there's no bugs tonight so I won't close the door on the on the inner or the duo mid but I've never felt that it's really sort of small or cramped in there to be honest I've always found it uh, you know to be perfectly adequate again obviously I, I do prefer the trail star and the super mid but if you want something small, light, with a door and an inner, you know, you can't go far wrong with the Druomid, I have to say. So I'm going to put some more stuff into the shelter in a moment, and then I'll catch you all soon. Well, what could be nicer than sitting out here almost in the middle of nowhere as I say we're right on the edge so this is hardly in the middle of nowhere but almost in the middle of nowhere as I say we had one person walking past earlier you may just make out I can't see in this sun there's one person up there anyway what have we got down here I'm going to put my shirt on in a minute because I took that off when I started the walk, so it's getting too warm. I'm going to make a drink in a minute with the cooking pot and maths. Power pack's charging phone up. Food is over there, so I need a servant to collect the food for me. Lassie, can you collect the food for me? Water. And then the servant is, <laughs> the servant is over here. Well, good morning. It's the good morning look again. I closed the door before going to sleep last night 
not so much that I wanted to be cocooned inside, but it was quite um, windy last night. And unlike the trail style, which, which of course doesn't have a door, um, if you leave the door open and then it gets quite windy, it starts to make quite a bit of sort of flapping noise because everything's not quite as tight as it could be. So that's why last night I did the door up. But as you can see, I pitched it reasonably high so there's uh, plenty of air movement in here to say the least. And of course, no condensation whatsoever. But then it is fairly dry on this hill as well, so that's not a surprise either. Lassie slept in here last, last night. I did get her in here last night. I've made... it's just 8 o'clock. I've made one cup of tea, and actually this is my second cup of tea. And some porridge. So, I'm going to have that come to for a minute and then I'll start uh, packing up. It's bright out. Nice sunny day. It was a bit cool last night. I think it went down to four or five degrees. And this bag is rated at about four degrees. So I got a tiny bit cool, but not. I wasn't cold. So I've got a t-shirt on, a shirt on and then this uh, wind shirt, I kept this on all night as well and I had my uh, down jacket which I just put in the sleeping bag but I didn't put it on, I just sort of put it around me uh, as I say I got a little bit cool but I wasn't cold but I slept very well mostly so I will eat my porridge and have my cup of tea Ooh. and then I'll start packing up well this is the uh, end of the walk been a lovely sort of 24 hours, probably less than 24 hours actually from uh, when I left the car to getting back to it. But it's been uh, you know, a very enjoyable walk. Weather's been uh, great, a little bit cool at night and a bit windy, but not much. <laughs> no baked beans for a lot of extra wind. So, uh, I say I'm near the car now, so I will catch you all again sometime in the near future. So, as always, you know, thanks for watching, and see you soon. Bye.